putting in an official complaint about my identification badge here. They put a second D in David's. Let me see. Let me see. What have they put? Shocking. It's just what I thought. What? <gasps> oh. Prime of the century, that. I really like Peter Davidson. <laughs> that, that's why they wouldn't let me in, because they were looking for Peter Davidson. And how different was it? Like you were suddenly you were working with Tom and, and Matthew, and then suddenly these guys join, and, and it's all change. And um, you know which which cast was easier to work with? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tried to keep a straight face during. That. Yeah, yes, yes, Sarah. Which cast? Yeah, was easiest which, to work which with? cast, Sarah? Just curious. That's yeah. all. Yeah, aren't we? Yeah, it, it's okay to say Tom. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just lie. Say it was us. Yeah. No, you don't. No, no. <laughs> you, you just, it was Peter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I have to say these guys because Tom, Tom frightened me a bit. <laughs> I was a bit. I was a bit scared of him. He used to call me Miss Basingstoke which for, you don't know where Basingstoke is. I was born in Basingstoke. And for some bizarre reason, Tom always called me Miss Basingstoke, which really got up my nose. <laughs> um, so the fact that Peter didn't call me Miss Basingstoke, I, the vote has to go to Peter, I'm afraid. <laughs> Peter, at the time you took on the role, you were actually the youngest actor to play the Doctor to that date. Um, did you feel daunted taking over from Tom? Uh, uh, he, oh, yes, definitely, because he'd done it for seven years. Yeah. Uh, um, I hadn't really watched Tom Baker. I hadn't really watched a, a Doctor Who since uh, Patrick Troughton, not because of uh, um, anything to do with John or, or Tom, uh, uh, simply because you know it was the time you went off to you know college and you know drama school and there was no so video that. really that there wasn't no, much there was no video, video no. so yeah. if you missed it you missed it yeah. basically so you, and uh, and I was seldom around Saturday afternoons when it was um, was on so I, I I knew he'd done it for seven years and I knew that there would be a lot of people out there who had not known any other doctor except for Tom and I know over here it was to some people somebody came up to me this morning who was in shock when at the end of you know, uh, uh, Legopolis suddenly this other bloke appeared and they went what what what's going on um, so you, <laughs> so you see that so it was, it's, it was difficult but I, I just kind of just ignored it and just for reference what I knew of Doctor Who I, li I very much like Patrick Chown has taken yeah. the doctors. Because like all the other doctors after you and before you just got to have their face glow, whereas you got yours covered in wallpaper paste. So how yeah, was that was interesting that because was. It, it was it was all done uh, in the space of about seven minutes. Mm. It was meant to be done much earlier in the day. That I came in for one for day's filming uh, um, uh, in Tom's episode of Legopolis, and the, the, I think it was meant to happen in the afternoon. It never, never did because we were always, they were always running late. And I think about seven minutes to 10, they said, okay, we're going to go for the uh, regeneration sequence. And they, they covered my face with this white stuff and then they lay me in this place and then took up about 10 seconds of videotape and dragged me out into makeup again and wiped the rest off. And then I just had to sit up into shot. And what you saw there was just like, me being shocked, what the hell has been going on <laughs> for the last seven minutes? And then it suddenly they turned the lights out. That was it. Yeah. And th that was the regeneration. <laughs> Janet had actually done her bit, but she very kindly came back down to, to uh, play the scene hmm. with me. Oh, you're talking, uh, no, he's talking about the oh, one oh, where you appeared to, to me as the hologram, not where we're on the edge of of existence. Right. Not isn't that the way, when you, what I'm saying is you were there. No, Pete. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, Bless. Am I, be, am, I, I, am, am, am I being slow? What, what are you talking they, they about? Very about. slow. Yeah. All right, okay. One, <laughs> when it, I'm, it's understandable when, though, isn't it? I, I mean, I yeah, just, well, you're I a senior. I spent yesterday with you for a start. Yeah, okay, go on. Whoa. 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 And, 
trouble. Yes, go on. Sorry. We were Explain in the me. basement. Yeah. You're explaining to me how to disable the power system so yeah. that the, 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 the Cybermen who are drawing power from the power system... Yeah. Uh, well, what is your point here? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying... <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. It is excuse, not the excuse scene. Us from first ten, it is not ten the scene. Go for it. What? Go for it. What? It is not the scene where I came back to read in with you in November. It's the scene on the 14th of October. He's talking about. But I what, came wait, did you just give away a scene? He came down for the... twice. No, I didn't. <laughs> hey? I didn't come down twice. Did you not? No. You see, she thinks I'm mad. No, I came down once. Did you? Yeah. Oh, my and God. And you were not in costume at all. You had, you had come back down because I, I couldn't come down when they did the scene. Oh, that's right. That was really annoying. <laughs> I'd forgotten that. All right, so uh, he, he is talking about what... So that was really acting when I looked as though I cared about him because it was just... It was just the assistant director. Yeah, but the but the but the really impressive was the bit was when it looked like I cared about you. That was, wasn't it? That was I mean that was a bit because I was in shock when we did that. You were I, I, you were very very good to have come down to play the scene with me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But welcome I did, welcome I did to Long Island. Down once who's and I'm not down. going crazy. She is. All right. Okay. But thank you very much. God, I hate Thanks. it when he's right. <laughs> It's so annoying. <laughs> Peter, how do you feel about your son-in-law getting another go at being the doctor? <laughs> my what? My what? And, and I, this is a, this is a three parts quest, three part question. Here we the go. The first part. Okay. The first part of the question is: How do you feel about your son-in-law getting another go at being the doctor? That's part one. Do you think he's being greedy? That's part two. <laughs> And when Shuti Gatwa uh, leaves the role in a few years, would you like to come back as the 16th Doctor? All of the above is true, actually. I, I, I think, yeah, he is being really he's completely ridiculous. He should get another go at it. And oh, Sarah, would, I, I mean, Sarah, would you like to be the 17th Doctor? Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. I have to say, when they come to do the 100th anniversary special, there will be some descendant of Peter Davison <laughs> playing one of the central cast. Yeah. Because even his bloody grandchildren are getting in on the act. Yeah. His daughter, his son-in-law, his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren... <laughs> It's, it's a whole great grandchildren. It's a, it's, a, it's a dynasty, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it and we're basing it on the North Korean uh, uh, dynasty. Uh, basically, we're just, we're just going to hand it on down the line. No one else gets a look yeah. in at all. Uh, David, of course, has stepped back into the shoes and uh, uh, um, would say that's kind of a bit off kilter, really. Put the whole process off kilter. He, he sort of pulled back power. So I, I'm just hoping that he realises who the real boss is, <laughs> um, which is obviously my daughter. And so she'll, uh, uh, so she'll put a word in for me and maybe I'll get a look in at some point. Don't you? That would be cool. That would be very cool. I've got a badge as well that says, shut up, Peter. <laughs> Yeah. That was given to me by a fan. Oh, oh you, why didn't it? you Did wear you not bring that? it this weekend? No. Oh, why dear. didn't you bring it? What a shame. <laughs> Janet, that badge, is it Davison or Capaldi? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, now Peter Capaldi's a lovely oh, shut up. <laughs> just shut up. And, let's, uh, just, you know. and he's been a friend for 30 uh, years. Uh, <laughs> I, was, oh. I was there when he won the Oscar. <sighs> Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh right, why would we, we be dressed up in the robes in her mind? Fertile imagination. Good question, Pete. Yeah, good question. Um, I when you no, were preparing I, I, for the role, what did you do about that? How did you reconcile that um, in the backstory? Um, <laughs> well, I wasn't actually ever given the script. Weren't you? No. 
You were just physician. given the sides. Mm, just given the sides. Yeah. Wow. Because they didn't trust me. <laughs> Good call. So I had actually no idea what I was doing at all. In, in any, in any, I know no idea what I was talking about uh, because they clipped, they cut all those those speeches together. You know. So yeah, they, they did. Yeah. Uh, um, so the only scene I knew what I was talking about was the scene with you. With you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't know David was coming back either. I didn't know David. I did know David was coming back. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Right. Really? What? Didn't David. he have to sign an NDA? Well, it's Sunday lunch. Oh, you've let you know. it. <laughs> it, 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 It's Sunday lunch at my house. Yeah. You get out did, did he let it slip over dinner or something? <laughs> no. It's, so do you know what an NDA rumors. is? A non-disclosure agreement. There were rumours that he was. You know, he was yeah, on they, that list yeah. of rumours. That's right. There uh, was. And uh, so we were around there, and I, and I think we were talking about it, and he said... Uh, no, the rumours are true. I am. So, that, so I did know, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't tell anyone at all. No, you didn't, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amsterdam was, was good. It was the only bit of foreign filming we got to do, and it's always fun if you're yeah. going away. And location work's always much more fun than being, well, I think so, than being in the studio. Yeah. Um, what I have done, well, there was one where Matthew was poorly when we were filming. Oh, oh yeah. That was yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We introduced him to Campari and soda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he talked to it big time. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely true. It is, uh, it is true. Oh. I'm not thinking, when we were doing that scene, yeah. Yeah. we were doing a scene where we had to be jogging Away from the, uh, you know, customer. Back to the TARDIS. Yeah. And then we have this little, little interchange. And then in, in the background, we were doing it. <laughs> Matthew just goes behind a tree and throws up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he had the last laugh because then we all had to squeeze into the TARDIS. <laughs> not knowing whether he was going to uh, barf again. <laughs> If you look, there's a photograph of, we did a bit of a photo shoot, didn't we? Yeah. And there's a photograph of him, and he does look decidedly does look. green. <laughs> yeah. It's on my table. <laughs> Sadly, I don't like celery. Uh, um, uh, and and it, 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 it wasn't real celery anyway. There was one time where it was, when I first picked it up in, in Castrovalva, and I took a, a mouthful, I sort of like, like, mm, like that, and I think then the sea cut. And what you don't see is me going. <laughs> <laughs> After I think, I don't really like it. Well, I, I claim that it was my idea, the cricket m m motif, but I do know that John Nathan Turner claims the same thing. But he's not around to defend him. So I, it was my idea. Um, but but no, no, the celery was entirely his idea. It's, I had nothing to do with that. He just said to me, I think you should have something interesting on your lapel. And then one day he came in and said, I had a great idea, I think you should have a stick of celery. And, and I said, why? And he said, I don't know. And I said, well, as long as you explain it before I leave, that's okay. So that's what we did. And then we got to Caves of Androsani, and I remembered that he had not explained why I had the lapel. And so the job was given to Eric Saywood, who was the script editor, to come up with a reason. And the reason was, this is absolutely true, the reason was because the doctor is allergic to gases in the praxis range. Uh, um, uh, uh, and therefore, if he eats the celery, he's fine. Now, the praxis range, has anyone heard of the praxis range? No, because... The praxis rangers. The, pra the praxis range of gases was actually the name of Eric Saywood's computer as he sat and typed out this. He thought, the doctor is allergic to gases in the... Um, and he looked down at his Praxis uh, 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 typewriter and went, in the Praxis range. So uh, uh, if you look it up, there is, you'll find out what make of typewriter he had um, when he wrote that scene. But I thought actually it was, wasn't a bad explanation. This is Mick Wingert, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to have fun and follow your fandom.